could come the other night If I can make it If I try to drive the red light I could run through the fire I could come the other night If I can make it If I try to drive the red Okie dokie, everybody. Is this a fantastic day or what? Wednesday, Friends Day Wednesday. Have all of our friends here. It's fantastic. Glad you can all be here. This is going to be a fun one. I hope. I'm hopeful. I'm watching the live stream because I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Everything's frozen on my end. How's it look on your end? I have to look it up. QuickBooks ad. Looks like it's going good. All right, right on. Howdy, howdy. Aha, you made it, Country Life says. White Hammer, Fishing Kid, Christian Estrada, uh, Levi Overby, Brady P, Andy Smith, Cody, picturing General Saram, <laughs> PBR, Nicholas, Wave the Game, Legendary Fishing's got to watch after work. Not a big deal, man. I understand. You're a hardworking man. You're a hardworking man. You got things going on. I get it. I get it, man. Oh, that's right. We got, um, we got cake for six years of RF4. For the six year anniversary, we got some got some cake. Top notch, everybody. We'll eat a piece of that. Damn you, Norway, we sweets want a map too. <laughs> oh, the big fish of the day is a big old halibut, eh? That's fun. 111 kgs. That's awesome. Big old fish. That would have been fun to reel in, huh? We are going to go out and do some jig fishing, of course. That's what's coming with the uh, tutorial, not tutorial, with the trailer, whatever you want to call it. Trial version of the game. We could possibly, I was thinking, I was thinking, I wonder if with our money, with our moolah, we could possibly purchase 
some sort of silicon bait that we could maybe use for small halibut or something like that. Hopefully the boat doesn't get too far. There we go. It's locked. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Don't mess with the scuba divers. We got an achievement for falling off into the water. All right, so what am I looking for? Tackle shop. Let's look. Let's see how much a, a, a small silicon uh, bait is, huh? So go to marine tackle, go to lures, soft plastic lures. We are looking for like a, yeah, like a Kraken, salty fish one, 140, maybe. It's either that or two, I'm thinking of 140. I don't want it to be too big. Don't want it to be too big. Maybe if we bought one of these and then bought a jig head for that. What sort of jig head should we get though? That's the question. Let's look at all the hooks. All the hooks we have available for here. I'm thinking one of these berserk hooks, don't you think? 7.5, 220. These ones weigh quite a bit too, though. Hmm, decisions, decisions, everybody. Let's see what we can get here. These just go up to number one. Oh, wait, no, here we go. So an extra large 2 aught, 3 aught, 4 aught. Let's just get a uh, 4 aught number one, $25 try that we'll put that on the old saltwater I might have to switch this over to a uh, jig rig <gasps> oh no we just bought all that stuff but we can't even switch can't even switch to a giant silicone jigging rig oh dirty dog oh well what about this could we do this hey we made it work we made it work that's all that matters. We made it work, and that's all that matters. Top notch. Well, we can certainly see if we catch a fish on that. Hey, hey. BZ, hi, BZ, how's it going? Christopher Stark, Ryan Weller, Damian Bryson, uh, Cameron. Thank you so much for the beginner series. I've been using the barber ever since level 7. Thanks to you. You're level 22 now. Hey, right on, man. Right on, man. Let's go! Uh, go do some fishing! Yeah, boy! Good morning! G good morning! Good morning! To all the Norwegians out there. Is it just good morning? I don't know how to pronounce it. Have you heard anything about the Ocean Update for Fishing Planet? Let it be known. The moment that I hear anything new to tell anyone about the Ocean Fishing Update for Fishing Planet, I will create a video about it like the day of so don't ever worry that I'm just holding on to information that I'm not telling you because the moment I get information about it I will let all of you know fishing on the Congo River right now very cool you bet even Denmark gets a map before us then I quit Denmark ew <laughs> stinking Denmark gross with their mermaids and whatnot Ew. Sick. I'm willing to stop by and say hi before my phone dies, eh, Bryson? Right on, man. Are we going to get a video on Call of the Wild Australia? I tell you what, I keep waiting for information, get, uh, you know, about some sort of, uh, you know, trial period before the uh, new expansion comes out, whether we're going to be able to try it. Usually what happens is they, like, tell us, like, two days before a weekend or something like that. They'll be like, oh, hey, it's Thursday. Why don't you guys play it over the weekend? And then the game releases on Monday or something like that. And then it'll be like a scramble to get everything done in time. Especially if you have plans for that weekend and you're like, well, crap, why didn't you tell me ahead of time so I could have planned or something like that? No, they don't care about that. No sir, re Bob. Um, so no, I haven't heard anything about the Australia map for, fish, for uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild yet. They haven't told me anything about anything. Uh, when we're going to get a trial period. Thing is that they, they put out the, what was it, Maryland map or something like that? The one beforehand that was like 
moose and pretty much every other animal that we already had in the United States. I don't even know why they wasted time creating the map, to be honest. I guess they made money from it, but it just seemed like an entirely just a waste of time to even create that map. Anywho, rant over. Um, I didn't even play it. During, like, they gave me, like, a weekend or whatever to play it and make videos about it. I didn't even play it, because I was just like, why? This is like, it's like Leighton Lakes, again. Why would I, why would I spend my weekend playing this? So I, I didn't even play it. So I hope that they don't, like, think to themselves, well, old BZ Hub didn't play the Maryland map, so why would we send him the Australia one? You know, I'm hoping that's not the case, but we'll find out, won't we? Find out if they let me uh, play it. Good morning. There you go. Holly's there. If you get a salmon, you can sell it to Japan as sushi. Real fact. Real fat. Yeah, there. That's the big thing Norway's all about, huh? Selling this salmon to uh, Japan. Fun fact to all of you out there. If you see sushi. Sushi with salmon in it. The whole, the whole origin of the salmon uh, sushi was uh, from the Norwegians. They uh, brought salmon to uh, Japan and said that it could be a cool, cool fish to uh, to make some sushi rolls out of. Well, I'm hesitant to fish here since there's literally two fish on the sonar. Maybe we should look around a little bit more. Look around a little bit more for a few more fish than that. Don't want to go too fast, though. Just stopping by, Grant says, hey, right on, man. Love fishing with your bass rod set up. Hey, right on, dude. Sorry to a new player in fishing class. I'm grinding emerald. Any tips to fill up? Keep that faster. Not really, dude. Catch fish. A narrow spoon. Have a feeder rod out with some small minnows at the same time. Bing bada boom, you know? You know what I mean? Two rods at the same time, two fish at the same time, right? Two times as quick as just one rod. Triple L, how's it going? Not too bad. How's it going with you? How's it going with you, my friend? Are we having some small fish showing up on the radar? Here, let's try here. Let's try here. So we're doing a little bit different than the last one. Last time we've been doing perking lures. You know, they uh, you you take them up off the bottom, they flip up, they make a little flash, and then you drop them back down on the bottom. I, I read this. I had to do a little research on the perking thing to figure out what that was all about. Um, since then, since then I've learned... I have learned the whole point of perking is uh, to, to have it on the bottom and then flip it up and then drop it back down. And it's for all those fish that do travel along the bottom looking for a little fish, shine something that reflects the little bit of light that's coming down to the bottom. But today we are using a jig. We are using a silicone lure with a jig. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so a bunch of fish that showed up on the radar. Of course, they're not there now. Classic. They were there, though. Mix up the strong perking with a little bit of regular perking in between. Good deal, good deal. Earn a new sub there, bro, for life. Hey, right on, dude. 50 gifted if you change the title and switch to Fishing Planet. Ah, oh, man. Gotta stick to my guns, I suppose. We already played Fishing Planet on Monday. Can't do it twice in a row. Thanks for the offer, though. Appreciate it. I appreciate the offer. You live in Maryland, hey, right on. You hate Nightbot. What do you have against Nightbot? What did Nightbot do to you? 
if we uh if we don't get anything on this uh jig head thing we'll switch back to the perking lure but i thought it could be an interesting thing just because we've been we've been fishing with the perking lure for so long now catching the same fish the safe the pollock the you know which are kind of fun fish i thought it might be fun to try something different maybe get a halibut or something if one were to come along you know what i mean Nothing's showing up on the radar right now, though, so. Might be a fool's errand. I don't know how we had so many fish showing up on the radar, and now they're all gone. Reel this in real quick. Maxing out my retrieval speed. Hey, what's up? I love your vids. I recently switched to PC, so I had to restart my fishing planet. It's been a blast with your help. Hey, right on, Simply Troll. Glad to hear it, dude. Hey, restarting fishing planet sounds like so much work at first, but then when you uh, when you start to realize how much easier everything is the second time around, it is pretty fun to redo it all and do it much quicker than the first time. All the memories of things being so painful to do and all the all that just goes right out the window doesn't it so glad you were able to uh glad you were able to uh do it a second time that's awesome it's summer in sweden time for xander and pikes i've i live right next to sweden's biggest lake where fishing is free life is good that's awesome dude i figured out how to do max drag with your fishing tutorial right on Braden. glad to hear it, dude all right we have all the fish beneath us again we must have drifted backwards or something. Drifted backwards and lost all those fish that were right underneath us. Need to throw down an anchor is what we need to do. I wonder if that's an option. Doesn't look like it's an option. Why isn't it an option? You want to restart because you have no money and you... you you don't want to grind Lone Star. Unfortunately, there's just no way to restart. So you can just not play the greatest fishing game on Steam or uh, on console, or you can just tough it out. Whoa, boy. Whoa, boy. Got something. Got something, boyos. Didn't take long once we were back over all those fish, huh? What do we got? What's the first fish of the day? What's the first fish of the day? The first ocean fish is gonna be a European place. What a freaking crazy fish, man. And so small. 468 grams. It's a fun fish, though. Look how skinny he is, dude. That's crazy. I wish we could rotate him the other way. Yeah, I guess we can do that. Oh, well, not really. Okay. Well, that's cool, man. I bet that'd be some good eating, eh? I bet that'd be some good eating. Try that again. See if we can get lucky. Get lucky a second time. We're all at the bottom, which is good. You're back. You're fishing for Beluga in Octuba River. Any tips? Not that I know of, anyway. I always use duck muscle meat, I think, is what I always used for the belugas. You can fish underneath the uh, bridge for the trains, or you can fish over by the dock. Different times of the day, you can catch them both. I think if you, um, if you start trying to catch the uh, catfish, you'll end up catching the belugas more, simply because Fishing Planet hates you. <laughs> It always seems like once you're like, okay, that was fun catching the belugas. Let's actually try to catch some fish that we can actually make money from. And you, uh, you try catching catfish right after. Look at these waves, dude. Gets to the point where the waves are like as high as us and then they, and then they come back down. The waves in Russian Fishing Bore are freaking amazing. Anywho. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Catch more belugas when you're fishing for catfish. Oh, 
but I never earn any money in it. Well, there's a trick to it. How, have you been uh, selling selling uh, fish to the old um, to the old cafe for extra monies? That's the whole thing, man. You gotta go with the cafe orders. You gotta look and see what the cafe orders are, and then specifically try and target those fish. And once you get it good enough so that you can say, oh, three dace is what they need. Okay, well, to get a dace, I need to use a number 16 hook with maggots or something like that, you know? That's how you get good, man. That's how you get better. It's all about remembering what fish go for. Dude, seriously, these waves are so big that they're like... We can't even see the the land over there. We can only see the tip tops of the mountains. It's up higher than the boat. This game already launched. Russian Fishing 4 has been out for a long time. Heck yeah. Don't you should just get tired of people sometimes though? I can't be the only one. No way, bro. I always get tired of people. Just when you think I have lots of energy for people, I get tired of them. Ready to go to sleep. Because of people. Everyone who plays Fishing Planet hates it when you catch a huge fish, but you can't keep it because you don't have the advanced license. That's why I always say to buy the advanced license, man. You're just shooting yourself in the foot. Shooting yourself in the foot if you're buying a license that doesn't let you keep the big fish that pay you the most money. What's the point? All right. This has been fun. It's been fun trying this new lure. We caught one little flounder, didn't we? Caught one little flounder, but let's reel it in and get the perking lure out. Try the perking lure. I'm sure we'll catch more fish that way. Pilker rig, whatever. Perking, so you use pilkers to go perking. What a stupid thing. <laughs> of course you use pilkers for perking. Hey, you wanna go do some perking? Heck yeah, let me go get my pilkers. Doesn't make any sense. Honestly, let me, actually, I'm changing my mind already. It seems like we, we, start in a decent spot and then the ocean's pushing us back from up there back down to here with the current and we start missing all the fish so we're gonna move forward and let the current push us back again when you get tired of people you go fishing there you go. That's a good plan. There's some pretty decent fish down at 41.43. What's the best way to get XP on the Conger River? I'd say... Uh... Set up a good rod stand with a bunch of rods to catch some uh, tiger fish. And then when you get bored, go catch some Nile perch. And then just rinse and repeat. Tiger fish, Nile perch, tiger fish, Nile perch. Keep going back and forth like that. That didn't take long, did it? Switch to the perking thing and we already got fish on. Doesn't seem to be a very big fish. Eh. It's a little bit harder to reel in, eh? Come back here by the boat engine. What do we got? Pollock? Please be a Pollock. Golly, I'm gonna have to get the gaff out. Hook him! Hook him with the gaff! There we go, it's a freaking cusk. 
Stinking cusk. So sick of these things. Ugh. The other day when we were fishing, all we seemed to catch were cusks. Over and over and over again. Lots of them. Anchor. I wish we could. I, I don't know. When I sit down, it doesn't give me an option to use the anchor. I don't know. Maybe there's another option I'm not aware of. It doesn't show up as an option in the boat. All right, big fish. Big fish besides some cusk. Is Russian fishing for free? It is for free. Hunt Games asks me how, how my day is. It's going quite well. Thanks for asking. Ooh. Yeah, sure enough. It didn't, it didn't, uh, it wasn't, it didn't seem normal. I was like, my God, what the heck is that? Fish on, everybody. That didn't take long. Going quick today. Back to back to back. What we got? Oh, Atlantic mackerel. Look at this little thing. <laughs> That's awesome. So wheat. Fish still on the radar. Fish still on the radar. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Before I go fish, I'm level 52 in Fishing Planet or in FS. What is FF? And when to crab? What level shall I grind to? What are you talking about? You're level 52. How could you go to uh, how could you go to blue crab? Then? That's what you're talking about. What fish makes you the most money? In in what? Glad to finally make it to a stream, Michael says. Heck yeah, man. Well, we're doing pretty good so far. I've been catching quite a few fish. I really hoped we could catch something big on that one, uh, that big silicone lure that we were using, but never did. Just a freaking flounder. Ew. Some stinking flounder. Fishing planet. How'd you get the blue crab at 52? So you have the heaviest gear to grind Moran. Moran. I was sure the blue crab was 54. Felipe, hi. Quebec. Thanks for the sub, appreciate it. We've drifted away from the money spot again. Plus it's nighttime now. What up, BZ? What's up? Ooh! Oh, boy! Here we go. Look at that fish. Did you see the drag? Did you see the drag when that fish grabbed that? We had drifted down a little bit, and it had actually gotten deeper, and so I wasn't lifting it up off the bottom anymore. I had to let line out to let it go down to the bottom. So then it worked. You're level 54. How long should I grind blue before I move on? I mean, yeah. I mean, I... I Maku Maku's not that great. So, I mean, I would go beyond that. Dude, here we go, man. This is nice. It's a nice fish. Uh, Maroon River catfish are probably going to be the next big grind for you. So, I don't know. I, I would just enjoy it, man. Like I always say, people see blue crab as like the like next tier. They're like, yes, I finally got a blue crab. Now leveling will be easier once again. It's not. Blue crab is such a, a fake, like, like, it's a fun zone, don't get me wrong, there's lots of fun fish there, but it is not, like, another plateau like Emerald Lake to catch lots of, lots of big money-making fish or something like that. It's gonna be tough going. 
still. So if you haven't got a good carp, uh, real no, it's another cusk man. You've got to be joking me. What a stinking fish! You have got to be joking me, cusk. It's the new Saith. God, we used to talk about Saith all the time and how annoying they were. And now all we're catching is freaking cusks. Ugh. I hate you with your freaking eyeballs. Never want to see a carp again? Well... I would just, just keep catching fish then. Keep catching fish until you unlock the new map, eh? Well, another cusk down. Let's move, move it, move it a little bit more forward. Drifted away from the good spot again. I've been seeing lots of fish just up here. Kind of where this uh, point is, where the uh, arrow is pointing. Oh, there's lots of fish right there. If we stop right here start fishing then we'll start drifting back towards start drifting back towards where all those fish just showed up on our uh, sonar there it'll all work out it'll all you'll see it you got a carp in Russian right now a Russian carp or does he speak Russian 60 peeps 60 likes am I right Am I right or am I wrong? Because currently it says 60 peeps, 26 likes, which just blows my mind because that doesn't make any sense. Sooner we get to 100 likes, the sooner I stop talking about it. That's what I always say, and I'm sticking to it. You finally made it to Weaving Willows, Cripsy says. Hey, right on, dude. What do you think? Have you been able to get out and do some carp fishing? What about the greatest fish? Uh, the, the greatest feed. Feed? Carp bait? Whatever you want to call it. Carp bait in the game. Have you tried it? Have you given it a try? So, another thing. Uh, I will not be streaming next week. Throw that out there for the 61 people watching. No streams next week. Um, I'm gonna be back back in KC with uh, with with a uh, company I work for. Hanging out with all those people, so I won't be able to get, do any streams, unfortunately. There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish. It's all about keeping it down. Keeping it down low. Doesn't seem like a very big fish, though. Let's see what it is. Another mackerel? Oh, European hake. Interesting. Little guy. Just little guy. And showing up on the radar. Which is exactly why we're casting off from here. Because that's the sort of stuff they do to keep you from 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 going. From from casting again. They make it seem like there's no fish down there, but there are. They're they're hiding. I don't know. I don't know the magic of YouTube. We'll give this a minute or two. If there's no fish, then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go somewhere. Ugh. Hope you're doing great, brother. Hey, right on, Doug. Doing, I am doing just fine. Thanks for asking. Hope you're doing well. 
Do you play in the monthly fishing plant tournament? I don't. No, I, I've never had any interest in the fishing plant tournaments. I have always just played fishing planet for fun, and the competitions have never seemed like a fun thing to me. The most rushing around I do is when we do our little, uh, see how many unique carp we can catch in one live stream. That's about it. That's about as rushed as I get to catch something, you know, as, as fast as possible. You had fishing plan for four years and you're still only level 26. Oh man. You know, it sounds like you had fishing planet for four years, but what you were mish m mishing, M I S H I N G, uh, what you were missing was, uh, was a little initiative. Uh, uh, I totally forgot how to play RF4 and need to learn again. It is interesting uh, because there is so much you can do in this game. There is, uh, I think the current switched on us. Because there is so much to do in this game, um, there are a lot of buttons and stuff you kind of need to learn. Buttons. Do you like how I said that? Need to learn all these buttons. Is this game for PC and console or just PC? So it's currently only for PC. But I will say that I have heard on good authority that it is being worked on for console. But uh, it's it's so far, like, it's not very far along and they can't even, like, give a good estimate on when it would come out on console. So, so unfortunately, I would love to say, yeah, and it's coming along great and it should be out this winter. I, I can't I can't say that because I don't know you're bass fishing in the Everglades right now right on dude been using the willows video for sunny days uniques and I've been smashing it already nearly level 50 year one hey right on man no the, the giant the giant unique carp can definitely give you pretty good XP that's for sure They can definitely give you some good XP. Doing some strong perking off the bottom here. Hopefully. Ooh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Let's go, boys. <clears throat> we saw him. We saw him down there. We saw him down there. You can buy a pass to go to Blue Crab. I did that at level 43. Yeah, I know you can. I know you can. Oh yeah, Nick. You grind your carp for 30 days. What do we got? What do we got? What the heck is this thing? Pollock? Ah, oh, Atlantic Cod! Well, that's cool too. I think that's my first cod that I've got here. Right on, dude. That's awesome. Taking a picture. Taking a picture. Nice. Well, he didn't pay very much, did he? Ooh, there's fish. There's fish down there. Fish on the sonar. Fish on the sonar. Learning all the mechanics for R4 can be intense. Oh, yeah. I still haven't learned all of them, so I... Yeah, goodness gracious. But I don't know when to strike on plastics. You don't know when to strike on plastics? It's all about the hard sets versus the soft, soft sets. That's why I made a video about it, man. You'll get it. You you go watch the hard set versus soft set video. Then, hopefully, then hopefully, all of your cares will go out the window. Plus, there's a good point of the game, good section of the game, honestly, where you're going to be using bait rods and stuff like that anyway. So don't get tripped up by not knowing when to strike with the you know, lures and whatnot, because there's only a, I mean, I'd say 50% of the game is going to be lures. The other 50% is going to be bait, and they're already going to have it in their mouths hooked, you know? So that's all I got to say about that. That was my Forrest Gump impression. It's great, I know. You don't have to put it in the chat. I already know. It's cool. <laughs> Torsk in Swedish. Torsk. Why does that sound familiar? I don't know what Torsk means. 
Cod is oh it, now I'm getting it. It's just a little bit behind now. So Cod means Torsk in in Svensk. You have a pet leopard gecko named Godzilla. Oh, dude, nice name. Hey, this is a different fish. Look at this crazy thing. My God, it looks just like my brother. It's a Zach fish. Wow. That's amazing. I'm blanking on the other guy's name. Yeah. It's kind of like a Steve Buscemi kind of fish. Or Pete Davidson. Good old Pete Davidson fish or something like that. Look, look, he's like a crazy goldfish looking thing. A small redfish. Well, that's fun. I, I deeply enjoyed that. Well, cool. Now we've drifted too far, though. We need to, co we need to come back. that map on mobile? No. Didn't know that Tom Hanks was guest appearing tonight. That's right. That's only the best on the BC Hub. Tom Hanks playing Fishing Planet. What is that, a Simpsons fish? There you go, it was a Simpsons fish. Just caught a unique Goliath tiger fish? Whoa. Only 77 pounds? It's a small, unique Goliath tiger fish, I feel. Those things get over 100 pounds. Perking, 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 doing lots of perking. What combo are you using? I am using the combo that comes with the Norwegian Sea. It's called the Saltwater Offshore 88 with the SAT Azimuth 10,000. Don't you know? Everyone knows that this is the combo to use. <laughs> No, but if you just buy the $2 trial version of the ocean fishing uh, thing for uh, for Russian Fishing 4, you get you get this rod and reel and, and a bunch of lures to use. There we go. Hooked up again, boyos. Hooked up again, boyos. Yup! Yup! He's a 30 meter. Oh, he's fighting. Look at look at the rod is just twitching back and forth. He's fighting, man. The smoking NY is crazy, is it? I I think I heard something about that. What is that all about? I never heard much about it. <gasps> Pollock? Pollock? Whiting. What the frick? 24,000 XP? And if we release it, we get an extra 16,000? Holy schmoly, are you joking? This is like a freaking treasure fish. All right, we're releasing you. Enjoy. Enjoy. My God, we got like an eighth of our level up just by catching that one fish. What the crazy thing, dude. A freaking whiting. We got, what, 24,000 plus 60? We have 40,000 XP from one fish. What ridiculous, dude. That's crazy. It is yellow outside. Wow, is Why, why, why is it? There was a fire in Canada, and the smoke came down in wine and it made the air so blue. It is yellow. Oh my. Okay, so I. Okay, I get it now. Yeah, that happened when my uh, when my wife and I were staying in California for a month. Uh, just before that, when my wife was there but without me, all the smoke was going on from the wildfires a couple years back. And so she was having to wear, you know, a mask to go to work and stuff like that because of all the smoke. So yeah, now you're getting to experience that, huh? And I and I, the hardest thing with the darn wildfires 
is that um yeah i'm not even gonna get into it <laughs> is there a fish called the greater weaver over there i don't know i haven't seen it anyway you know though what would be cool though is if while you're out here, because it is such a calm, open ocean at times, it would be cool if a whale would just come through and just splash near you and just disappear. How cool would that be? Just all of a sudden, a you know how like in the Amazonian maze, you have the dolphins just jump up out of the water all of a sudden? It would be cool if the uh, if there was a whale that did that. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Sadie Snail in the house. How's it going? It's really bad in Maryland as well. Okay. How's my night so far, Forever VR? It's going pretty well. We've been catching lots of fish, man. What do we got? The keep net. I say lots of fish, but it's really only eight so far. I, or, or seven. This one was from last time, evidently. <laughs> but it feels like we've been catching lots of fish. I don't know. Has an ash rain at Niagara Falls? What? Come on, fish. Not many wildfires in the UK? Yeah, I bet. It rains so much there, you little island nation, you. Three oh five with all this smoke. What? Your new subscriber and this is your first time you have really gotten interested in fishing planet. Hey, right on, dude. Well, how far are you in fishing planet, twins? Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. There are fish at the bottom. They're just not going for it. Sounds like perfect fishing for carp. Oh, the rain in the UK. Per perfect fishing for everything. <laughs> I think it rained. You know, every day that we were in London, I can't rec It rained the first day that we were there, and then afterwards, I don't think it rained any day afterwards. But then when we went to Leicester afterwards, it like rained every day, dude. There we go. Another fish on. This one's decent. This one's decent, boyos. It's not massive by any means, but he's okay. We're, we're doing the big hook sets. Hey, yo, hey, yo. You're level 16, you're at Emerald still. Should I keep grinding for more money to go to North Carolina? I tried to go there for one day, didn't know what to do. Don't go to North Carolina. It's a waste. It's a waste. That's why I literally put in the title, don't come here. It's a freaking cusk, dude. Are you joshing me? Freaking hit that thing with a gaff. Ah, cusks. Why? Bane of my existence. There are decent fish on the bottom. Maybe we should be throwing the freaking uh, silicone jig instead. I don't know. I don't know. 90 degrees in Washington. Surprised we haven't had very many wildfires because we've had like five really spooky storms. Ooh, a spooky storm. Spooky storms. And you bought the Orion Bass Boat. Okay. You got to level five and you spent some real money on Bass Spore Pack. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully it works out. I've not rained for weeks in Sweden. It's bone dry and hot. Goodness gracious. Bone dry. That's how you know it's it's dry. Just the other day I was showing off this black bear skull I have. And it's dry, okay? I tell you what. It's bone and it's dry as frick, man. No moisture on it whatsoever. Up north of the country, it rains a heck of a lot more. You should try Cornwall's weather. Should I? Is that a dare, or should I really go try it? <laughs> what do we got? What are you? What? Are you joking me? 
Dude, we got a trophy blue whiting. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, this is the first blue whiting I've caught, and it's a trophy. And we got two achievements for that. What in the world, dude? Look at this thing. That's wild. We got 29,000 experience points for it. If we release it, we get another 14.5. My god, man. What a crazy looking fish. I think we will end up releasing it to get a... Never got it in real life, really. Maybe I should keep it mounted in my cabin. <laughs> Mount this tiny little thing in my cabin. Oh, I think we might release it for the extra 14.5. And, I, and I'll just listen to all the comments that say, I can't believe you didn't keep that thing. It's worth a hundred silver or something like that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Take the XP while we while we can get it, I guess. I'm going to... I'm giving... I'm being really slow because I'm waiting for the chat. I'm giving the chat like 30 seconds to tell me if it's worth keeping this fish or not. But it's only 910 grams, so I can't... I, it's hard for me to believe that it would actually be a good fish, I guess. Do it! Do, do it! If you're bad, you'll do it. If you're bad, you'll release it. Alright, I'm, I'm releasing it. Ah, oh, TTV said to keep it. One bajillion dollars? No! I just missed out on one bajillion dollars. Oh. Dang. I just got a message too from Gamer. Nice YouTube vids. Thanks, Gamer. That was nice. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Oh, there's fish. Don't let people keep you from fishing. What What do we gotta do? We gotta keep fishing, everyone. Fish on, everybody. Now get a monkfish. They must be in the... They are in the game. We caught one uh, a few streams back. We caught one. It's actually in the thumbnail for this video. It's worth infinity dollars. Dude, now I feel so stupid. Why didn't you tell me before? Been fishing on Willis for one and a half hours in game and caught all unique. So now it's time to go get more in the late afternoon. I got you. I got you. Well, you can certainly catch more than just all the uniques. And by that, I mean you can catch multiple uniques in the same day. You just move around, you know, different ponds have different fish in them. Best tasting fish ever and super easy to cook. Ooh, really? Now you have me wanting to go to Sweden. All you Swedish people. Is that a fish? It is a fish. My god. There were no fish on the radar. I wasn't sure we were going to catch anything over here. It's a good day, man. You know, it's a funny because I was thinking to myself, I feel like we've caught more fish, but now I've, I'm realizing that I've, re I've released two different fish so far. They are in our coast oceans. What do we got? What is this thing? A regular whiting. All right. Okay. I feel like we should move. We've been catching a lot of fish here. Maybe we should do a big move. I feel like it's just going to get harder and harder to catch more fish right here. It's because we've been fishing here for so long. Four reds, but caught a bunch of sheephead and whiting, and they were yummy. Okay. Right on, Jacob. Lots of fish right here on the sonar. Wish we could just throw down an anchor. Just fish on top of them, you know? Oh well. Just caught an 80 pound beluga. Dang, boyo. 
Nice profile pic, by the way. I never, I never said anything about it, but now, now I'm saying something about it. It's nice. It's a hundred percent epic. Hundred percent epic, super cool profile pic. LOL, fishing kid says. LOL. Lots of love, my grandma thinks. Me cousin are catfishing in Kansas this weekend. Oh, very nice. Where are you catfishing, Joseph? Hi, Bjorn. Hi, Bjorn. Are you going to say hi? Huh? Are you going to say hi? Huh? What do you think, buddy? Come here, you. Come here, you. Oh, Ah, oh, a mess, great. Ah, what do you think, bud? Oh, it's been a while since you've been here, King Bjorn. What do you think? Oh, don't type it, people. Don't type it, people. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Now that you're here, I'm sure we're going to catch way more fish. I'm sure we're going to catch way more fish now, Bjorn. <laughs> it's the Norwegian Sea, and you're in Norwegian Elk Count, so you're gonna be able to catch us lots more fish. Now that we have you on our side. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, remembers everyone, you silly. Remembers everyone, you silly. Yep. Bjorn's, uh, Bjorn's almost 100 pounds, which is pretty dang big for an elk hound. They don't get that, they don't get that big, usually. He's a big old boy. Yeah, you're sweet, aren't you? Do you have any tips on how to fish with a frog topwater and fishing plant? You know, we've had we've had quite a few different videos fishing with a frog and in the in the, the Everglades and stuff like that. I would check them out, twins. Game needs some work, but it looks good. Russian fishing or or what? What are we talking about, Ranger? What do we got? Another small fish. Oh, another whiting. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. There's still fish on the bottom. And she is mad. I bet so, Dirk. I bet so. That sounds big. And, uh... BZ is the best YouTuber oat? Yes, I am the best YouTuber oat. I... I... I don't know what to say. I just... Should I do an acceptance speech for being the best YouTuber out? You. Wow, that was sweet. You all couldn't tell, but I just got licks on the back of my leg. <laughs> don't you love it when your dog licks you <laughs> in random places? It's the best. Like, yes, I was... I was missing having a moist calf. Thank you. Oh, thank you. know, I never realized what I was missing out on by having, uh, but not by not having a wet elbow. So thank you. I, a dry elbow was way worse. Right, Bjorn? Yeah, thanks, buddy. Another fish on, boyos. That's a pretty good one. Whoa! Look at that rond bed. Rond bed. I put an in with the rod for some reason. Dude. Gotta make sure we got the hook set. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Look at us, we can't even turn the we can't even turn the handle. <gasps> dude, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Oh here we go. Swedish moose hound. That's what he is in Nor Norwegian moose hound. Do 
You have uh, no cap. He's the best. Oh, thanks, Dirk. What is this game called? This is Russian fishing, my friend. What do we got? It's a ginormous cusk. Are you joking me? I'm so sick of these freaking cusks, but if you're a trophy, I'll be happy. Oh, he's just normal. 4.267 kg cusk. What a freaking loser. Big fish, though. <laughs> oh, golly. Well, that's cool. That's something, anyway. Curse of the Cusk, I know, right? Yeah. There's one big fish at 41 feet, 41 meters right now. Just got destroyed by peacock bass. Oh no, by a peacock bass? That's not good, Cameron. If it was destroyed by peacock bass, it was definitely gonna get destroyed by a largemouth. Your cat likes to sneak under your desk and lick your toes, if not... <laughs> At least she's not biting them, though. Biting toes is way worse than, than just licking them, you know? Especially from a cat. They're a little needle-like teeth. Ow, dude. Hurts just thinking about it. Seeing these big fish down here makes me want to switch to that silicone bait and see if we could catch something on that. That jig, you know? Let's do it. I like to live life on the edge. We've been catching lots of fish. Let's try, you know, if you if you don't try new things, you'll never you'll never go go far. There's some sort of uh, motivational quote there. I just don't know what it is. You have two German shepherds and two Belgian mount. My goodness gracious, four big dogs all at the same time. My goodness gracious, it's a lot of dog. Curse of the Cusk. Hi from Australia. How's it going, Elias? We got the same dog. Dude, what? Sick, sick bro. Sick bro. Alright, here we go. Big perking. Big perking, bro. Big perking movements. It's gonna give us the big fish. Big movements for big fish. That's what it's all about. It's either going to work out well for us, or we're not going to catch a fish, or we're going to catch such a big fish that all of our line goes off the reel and we break it off. So, lots of fun available for us. That's a lot of poop. Four times, four times, well I guess just two times the poop for me. <laughs> Looks like a bowfin mixed with a carp mixed with a catfish. <laughs> oh man. Felipe's back right on. Is Russian Fishing 4 coming to PS5? So technically, yes, it is. I don't know if it's specifically PlayStation 5, but I do know it's coming to PlayStation and Xbox. I just don't know when it will be done. It could be this year at the very end of the year. It could be next year. It could be two years from now. I don't know. But, um... But I do know it's being worked on. So, it's kind of fun. I feel like once it's out on console, it'll be safer to play this game more during live streams because more people will be able to play it. You know? And it is a really good game. And I do look forward to them eventually creating an American version or something like that, you know? Did you see the news of the update in Fishing Planet? The club's update? That's what they just put out a thing about today. Ooh. Got something hooked up. Doesn't seem very big, but we got something. Check ye in-game chat. Loving a good lure and bait for you to try out. Is that right? I'm always weary about answering chats during the live stream. Rig is cut off by the freaking fish teeth. Are you joking me? My god, what did we catch? Did 
Goodness gracious. Well, that's the end of that, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. A baby shark, you think? Might have been. That would have been fun to catch, though, don't you think? Oh, man. Dude had a seizure. BZ, what's your biggest fishing fishing planet? Yours is 120 pound tarpon. Oh, nice, man. Uh, I think my biggest fish is the fighter shark. Once you catch the fighter shark, it'll probably be your biggest fish too. And it's always a toss up whether yours will be bigger than mine. Sometimes they, uh, one's a little bit bigger than the other one, you know, blah, 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 blah. It's all just a, a bunch of chance and once you catch one one of them, then you can't really catch another one. So, whatever you catch, you're stuck with. You asked the same question in Winding Rivulet. Well, I do know that if you get bitten off in Winding Rivulet, then it, it's usually a, a pike or something like that. Because there's really only like two fish in the Winding Rivulet that actually have teeth. The, the Xander and the pike. Which, the Xander, I don't know if it would truly... It might, but the pike is far more likely to break you off. It's kind of known for being one of the fish that break you off pretty easily, so... Had some fish show up on the sonar, so hopefully we get another one with this pilking rig. Ah, oh, that didn't take long, did it? Didn't take long at all. You're only level 38, but I got the saltwater match pack. Okay. Hopefully you do some good with it, man. The dang seagulls, they're all over. I, yeah, I know. That's a good point. That's a good point, and it would be so easy to add them in. Even when I was fishing, uh, there's a little haddock. Even while I was fishing in Lake Erie, or just here in Milwaukee because of Lake Michigan, there's seagulls that fly over. Just such a strange thing, because it feels like you're just in Kansas, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you have seagulls flying over all the time. My goodness gracious. Iron Suits just sent us a Z-Man Lurker 107 and a bunch of safe filet strips. Okay, now we gotta reel this puppy in. Gotta reel this puppy in so we can try that. Iron suits, you're spoiling us! I hope we don't break off like before. Is this it? There we go. Boyo, now we're gonna get lots of fish, man. Theo Beck Jr. with the sub. Thanks, bro. Theo Beck Jr. Who's Snapchat? What are you talking about? Heard that too. Hello. Jimmy Rodriguez. Hello. 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 In Norway, the sit in the water, fly over. They're crazy. <laughs> I have no doubt. I have no doubt. You probably have, um, oh, they might be rare up there. I can't remember where they're more prevalent. Um, there is a small island. Is it the Balkan Islands? I can't remember. Between the Scandinavian uh, countries and the UK where they have a lot more puffins and stuff like that can't remember I might be pulling that name out of a hat are you playing Russian fishing we are playing Russian fishing we're fishing on the ocean right now which looks beautiful look at these waves dude 
I feel like I'm there. I feel like I'm there fishing on the ocean. Hope you hit 1 million subscribers soon. It would be nice if we just went from like uh, 50,000 50, subscribers to a million subscribers over like a week or something like that. But that's okay. I enjoy it right now because I can easily read the chat and respond to everyone. Versus when we have, you know, three, four hundred, five hundred people or something like that. It might get kind of hard to read the chat. But for now, it's nice. We got a, we got a nice amount. What do we got? A safe. We switched lures and caught a safe. Yay. <laughs> Freaking safe, are you joking? Demon spawn. You forgot to renew your membership. Oh no. And I'll never forgive you for that. Never ever. Alright, I think we should finally do a big move. Let's move somewhere else. Lots of fish up near the top. Iceland. Iceland's got a lot of puffins, huh? Father's what are you doing if you don't mind me asking? I, I have nothing planned for Father's Day. My my dogs don't give me anything for Father's Day, so, it, you know, it's a rather boring holiday for me. Shetland Islands, maybe? May, maybe. Two fish showing up on the radar. Sonar, whatever you call it. try right here for a little bit quite a few fish that showed up on the radar depending upon which way we start drifting might work out well might work out horribly we'll just find out you were so close to 12 months oh no and it ruined it puffins are tasty i assume they taste pretty similar to ducks just because you know they're a water you know a water kind of uh waterfowl basically dark dark red meat all that sort of stuff but i did watch the episode where gordon ramsay cooked you know cooked up some puffins so ever since then i've been wanting to eat one just to see just to see what the deal is what's the deal with them puffins am i right whoa there's fish Not a very big fish, but we got him. What would you say is better, a fishing planner or RF4? Well, let me just hit you with a double-edged thing here. We'll start with Russian Fishing 4. Russian Fishing 4 is the best simulated fishing game in the world. Atlantic Mackerel, fantastic. If you are looking for a very similar to life fishing game. Russian Fishing 4 is perfect. I mean, it's it is like real life. It feels like real life. Fishing Planet is on a game standard of just a fun game to play that has nice progression and is just fun to catch lots of fish in lots of different areas is a much better game. And Fishing Planet is probably the best fishing game out on the market. So they're both good good fishing games. One is a far superior simulation game that's more like real life, whereas the other one is is just a better fishing game. It's not to be taken too seriously. It's just a fun game with with you know a lot of different fishing areas and a lot of different fish. Um and it's just fun to play. Plus it's out on console, which is Pretty nice for a lot of people who don't have a PC. There we go. There's a decent fish, man. All right, all right. 
It's a little hard to reel in at times, but other times we're just reeling it in no trouble. Let's just keep muscling it up if it's going to let us. Hasn't taken any... We, we haven't caught a fish today that's taken line out, so it's not too bad. Puffins are mostly in Iceland. Okay. Why did the duck cross the road? Because the chicken took the day off? Why? Why did they? What do we got? Now they're safe. Freaking safe. Ew. Gross. Ew. Sick. Can't believe it. We came all the way over here for a safe. Ugh. Gonna make me throw up. Ugh. Muka Muka? Maku Maku? Muka Muka. I wish it was called Muka Muka. That's more fun to say. I like the vid. I'm now level 56 on Fishing Planet Mobile. 330,000 loving blue crab. Can't wait to go to the Amazon. Well, right on, dude. That's a bigger fish showing up on the sonar over here. Well, that's sweet, genius. Glad that it's working out for him. You broke off your lure today. You were real life fishing and threw a different lure and caught the same bass and got and got your lure back. Wow, nice, dude. That's sweet. What a coincidence. Good to see you. I was just taking a break from Fishing Planet and noticed you streaming, so figured I'd drop by and leave you a like and such. Celebrating your birthday, 43. Dude, nice. Well, thanks for stopping by, Sim Devil, and happy birthday, dude. That's awesome. Thanks for thinking about stopping by. Golly. Could have been out doing fun birthday stuff and you stop by to say hi in my stream my goodness making me feel like a million bucks should you stay in blue crab or go to maku maku go to maku maku try it out man you, you unlock the new fishing area if you got the money for it if you're not like struggling with money whenever you unlock a new fishing area you should go try it out Doesn't matter what some YouTuber says. The whole point of playing the game is to unlock new fishing areas and catch new fish. Just because I say that blue crab might be better than, than Maku or something like that, it's just deriving you of having some fun. Go there, catch some arapaima or something like that. Have have some fun. You are what are you? Another place. Are you joking? Stinking place. Still some fish over here. Still some fish over here. It's copyrighted. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Copyright. Boom. Got ya. You can't sing that during a live stream. That's copyrighted, man. That all of your money from your stream is ours now. Thanks. From the Happy Birthday Song Incorporated. Have I ever played Bassmaster? Have I ever played Bassmaster? Bro, I was I was I was a part of the, the first people who played it. Have you ever looked up Bassmaster on the uh, on the channel? We were actually, when the, when the game first came out, you know, before the game came out, they had a bunch of us YouTubers all uh, play the game and, uh, and record our videos or whatever of us playing it. And I did it. I beat, I beat all the other YouTubers. There we go, fish on. There, all, all I needed to do was just stop paying attention to my little pilker and we caught a freaking fish. You were fishing in North Carolina and you got a fish so big, your your fishing pole fell out of your hand and 10 minutes later my dad caught my fishing pole and the fish was still on the hook and it was a red drum! That's awesome, cameraman. Sweet, dude. Let's see what we got here. It doesn't seem very big. Another safe! Stinking safes! Ew! Gross! Yuck! That's it. We're leaving. I don't like this place anymore. 
We've caught what? We, all that we've caught at this place is a place. We've caught a place and some safe. Hey, bud, how are you? Hey, bud. Hey, bud, how are you? Doing quite well. How are you? Always enjoy watching a fish makes it not so lonely. Yes, please don't sing to me. <laughs> you just don't want to hear my singing voice. I get it. That's fine. You got the Congo pack, but it ran out yesterday. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at this little weird island thing out here. You fish in real life, you would love come at fishing up here in Alaska. There must have been some sort of so, something something wrong there. What would I what kind of fishing would I love? Combat fishing? What the heck is that? That when you fish with a shotgun and then if anything flies over, you shoot it. Look at all the fish over here on top of this little island. We're gonna catch a big in here, I just know it. How deep are they? They're right around 50 feet or so. already have a fish on we do golly all we did was drop it to the bottom and we already got fish on that's how many fish are here I'm hoping we can stay over this island again to get it out that's duck hunting BZ big salmon in a small stream oh okay well I'm sure that does sound fun yeah not a few years ago another little haddock Tons of people lined up. Oh. You want to try out? It honestly looks so much fun. I love all the tiny micro lures. Ooh. That would be kind of neat. A little micro fishing or something like that. Biggest salmon place on earth. Ooh. That sounds fun. You know, in Russian fishing, come to PlayStation. I literally just talked for like five minutes saying that I didn't know when anything was coming to co the console. There's a level four on Emerald that has a boat. Hey man, everyone has the opportunity to buy a boat. <laughs> you also rent a boat too. Biggest salmon this year's 50 pounds? Nice. They just uh, announced that uh, some guy, uh, some bow fishing dude shot a smallmouth buffalo in Kansas and broke the, broke the record. It just kills me. <laughs> it's like this 66, 60 some pound smallmouth buffalo. It's massive. And the freaking thing's just dead. And I'm just like, dude, how stupid is that? <laughs> you catch this massive fish. You know, fishing, not hunting, where you can actually catch something and let it go and it keeps living. But you choose to shoot it with an arrow. You catch the biggest one ever caught in the, sh in, in the state. And then and then you, you kill it. And now it's dead and it's just... Never gonna get any bigger. How dumb is that? So anyway, rant, rant complete. Not like a salmon anyway, those things are gonna die anyway. Okay, I'll have to look it up, Jim. 
town a bit to play Russian fishing games in this in this time. Anyway, time to sleep. Thanks for epic time. Does sound a bit to play a Russian game in this time. Well, the thing is, is Russian Fishing 4 is made by an American company. It's not even made by a Russian company. So it is kind of weird. They they put out a uh, they put out like a a message a while back, basically saying you know we we don't support the the war going on in Ukraine at all. We're just an American company, basically you know saying that their their CEO of the company grew up in Russia, you know as a kid, and then moved to the United States, and so he kind of created the game. Uh, to relive, uh, to to relive fishing back when he was a kid in Russia, you know, growing up, which is kind of sweet in a way. I get it. No, it's actually like the uh, the people who own Russian Fishing Four, like the like actual owner of Russian Fishing Four, owns a uh, owns a, a a hunting like a hunting outfitter in Colorado. Like he's a Russian guy, but he he owns an outfitter in Colorado. And anytime I talk with him and his team and stuff like that, like he's he's literally there <laughs> at his at his store in Colorado. So it's it's not it's not a Russian company. He he literally lives in Colorado in the United States. Excited for the new map and fish? Absolutely, man. Excited. Excited to do some ocean fishing, that's for sure. Hopefully catch some more fish over this island. Fishing plan on PlayStation or PS4 Pro? Which would you choose to be better? Is that supposed to be PC or PlayStation? PC, there you go. Um, up to you. Depends on if you have any friends that want to play or if you eventually want to maybe join us in a stream or something at some point. Like, we only play on PC. Dude, here we go. Decent fish, decent fish. Here we go, man. This is what we've been waiting for. Make sure we're hooked up well. Got to do that hook set. He's not pulling out line, but he... I mean, the the bar went orange. This is a good sign. Here it's slowing down again. Slowing down again. Oh, man. This is exciting. He's like I said, he's not pulling out line though. He's not really fighting, but he is a heavy fish. That's interesting. I wonder if the way that he is like it's uh it's doing the drag, if that is a sign of what kind of fish he is. You know, do we have a small halibut on or something like that? And when the drag starts to go up, maybe we're like literally he's flat and he's like we're trying to pull him up flat, but then he kind of goes like this or something like that and becomes easier to pull up again. I don't know, man. Super late, you've been busy all day, but you're glad you made it. Heck yeah, man. Like I always say, if you make it to the stream, you're on time. What do we got? Oh, <gasps> I see it. I see it down. Th no, no, you are not. No! Get over here. Ah! Dirty boy, dude. You gotta be joking me. 6.866 pound or kg cusk. Ah! Like a 14 pound cusk. What a gross fish. Ew. Sick. Just as nearly as sick as a Saith. If there's two fish I hate in this game now, it's Saith and Cusk. Gross. Alright. 
Well, that was a lot of fun for nothing. Gah! I was so excited. I was so... It's like when you when you see a, a present on Christmas and you're like, Oh my god, this this weighs the same as that, that new console my friend got for Christmas. Oh, I sure hope that this is also a console. And then you open it up and it's a bread maker or something. And you're like, no! That was it. That cusk was a bread maker for me. Ew. And I... I mean, I like bread makers, don't get me wrong. But in the moment, I'm not happy. I didn't want bread maker. I sure hoped so, Jim. You know you're new, but you've been watching for years. You just never said anything, but hi, love the Fishing Planet vid. Keep up the good work. Roblox grind. I love it. Love your spunk. You know, late is better than never, right? Thanks for thanks for commenting. Well, how deep are we? 48. Well, where'd all the fish go on the sonar? You freaking fish. You only have one friend on PS4 he hardly plays anymore? Well then, just play on PC then. Once you have a good PC, it's it's usually better than anything on console too. I still own an Xbox One, I just never play the dang thing because usually games are cheaper on PC and I don't know, I just do everything else on my computer so might as well just keep doing games too. Could have been too s oh no. Don't tell me too safe. Ugh. Twice the- twice the safe. Twice the annoyance. Trying to get this back on the bottom. Must have really drifted into a deeper area, dude. The water looks so good in this game. Yeah, no, it really does. The ocean, the ocean current, like I honestly struggled to imagine that Fishing Planet could do an ocean current this good, simply because their water in Fishing Planet does not look great. It just doesn't. They just really haven't done a very good job of making realistic looking water, which is why it always looks flat, no matter where you go. Ooh, that's fish. Not a very big fish, but it's fish. You can't get off of level 52 on Fishing Planet Weeping Willow. I watched you video. Any tips you can give me? Hmm, not really. Those 50s, the 40s and 50s are just kind of a grind fest. You just kind of have to pull through, you know? It's annoying. Don't get me wrong. What is this thing? <gasps> a spotted wolffish! Oh my god, look how adorable he is! He's so cute that I would just give him a little nibble of my finger. Just a little nibble. Just the tip. Just a little tip top. I'd let him just bite it right off just to have a little, little last bite of some food. Unless he ended up eating my whole finger, in which case I'd Smack him on the edge of the boat. <laughs> oh god, I think this is the first spotted wolffish we've caught though. Crazy looking thing. We've caught lots of the regular wolffish. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. You can tell this is a spotted wolffish by the way it is. Alright, let's move. Does anyone remember that one kid in school that has a name like Ashley or something that is always like, boys good at you? <laughs> Them not be. Yep.
I just kept thinking of uh, boy, boys are from Mars, girls are from Venus. They take the hand. They are exactly right. They just go and they eat the entire hand, and you're like, "Well, what the heck, man? I was just gonna give you a little bit of my finger. What's the deal?" You give him a little bit of rope, and he thinks he's a cowboy, you know what I mean? S start me a new account on PC tonight so we can maybe fish together someday after I level up. There you go, Sim Devil. That's the spirit, man. Had a little of a school of fish there. What's the next fishing planet, Vid? Uh, I can't recall. I did a video showing, kind of comparing Pike versus Sturgeon. And at a lower level, uh, I think the Pike did better, unfortunately. I was really hoping that the Sturgeon would pull through, but they didn't. The Pike, uh, I think, did better in the Sturgeon, but I did a video of that. So that'll eventually come out whenever I get around to it. I'm kind of way behind on edits right now. I have a bunch of stuff to edit. What fishing game is your favorite? Oh, probably Fishing Planet. It's just not as fun when you've already gotten to the end of the game. You know what I mean? When you have stuff to look forward to, Fishing Planet's really fun. But when you've already done everything, thought of playing it's not that fun anymore whereas in Russian fishing 4 I haven't done anything so that feeling of still having things to discover and accomplish is is still there you know so it, it's a little bit annoying I got I understand cuz cuz I remember playing fishing planet for the first time and yeah it, it's a great game and I understand why everyone goes, Why don't you play Fishing Planet? Why don't you put out more Fishing Planet vids? Well, the truth is, is because I'm bored with the game. I don't want to play it anymore. Don't, I've played it for so freaking long, I'm sick of playing the dang game. And I want to play Russian Fishing 4 because it's new and I haven't played it. <laughs> but I still continue to put out videos and still do live streams of Fishing Planet because people enjoy it. Well, here's a decent sized fish. Being difficult to reel in anyway. Is this game as money hungry as Fishing Planet? I couldn't get into it as much as free as a free to play because it always wanted you to pay for premium bundles, constantly wondering if this has the same monetization. It doesn't necessarily like there's certainly like they like oh no no anything but this oh my god how does this keep happening why are, haven't we caught all of them in the ocean yet aren't they all gone haven't we brought this fish to extinction yet good golly um I would say Russian Fishing 4 more gives you, you know how there's baits and reels and rods and stuff in Fishing Planet that you can buy with bait coins, but you can buy very similar gear without using bait coins. So Russian Fishing 4 basically just, just does that. They don't really sell packs per se, um, they just have gear that you could buy with real money if you wanted to instead of just playing the game to buy it for free you know but they certainly don't pop up ads every single time you leave a map or something like that you know what i mean how far past 80 are you now i didn't even hit 80 why, why would I even get the 80? 
Now, once I got to the Congo River and caught all the fish of the Congo River, I was like, okay, I'm good. I, I'm good here. Well, that didn't take long to catch another fish, did it? You're level 54, where should you go fishing on Fishing Planet? Weeping Willow? You should go fishing wherever you want to go. No! Why, God? Why, Russian fishing gods? Why do you hate me so? Aww. <laughs> what is going on? You play every day, 80 plus 14, still love it? Well, that's awesome, Jim. I'm glad you still love it. This fishing planet still hate you? It certainly might, I'm not sure. I haven't asked us what our relationship status is yet. I've mostly just left it on. It, it's complicated. Just leave it, leave it at that, you know? A friend of mine says he helps work on fishing plant apparently there does see that he does but if he does there is some info yeah they're working on a deep sea fishing map right now i mean i i doubt he works for him but it's it's pretty common knowledge we we put out a video about it weeks ago can you get this game on ps4 no unfortunately david probus is in the house holy moly he still lives and he's been a hub master for 32 months? What? What? How is that possible? How's it been 32 months? That's almost three years. That's crazy, David. I have been wondering. I've 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 seen Facebook posts from the great David Probus, but I have not seen much of him elsewhere. So I'm glad that you still live. <laughs> What do we got? No, dude. Oh. Oh. We're leaving. I'm sick of these fish. Oh. <laughs> We're going to an entirely different spot for the last 20 minutes. Let's go somewhere else. You can't get this game on console yet. It's not out on console yet, unfortunately. Life is craziness, ain't it so? Ain't it so? Let's go deep. Let's go deep, huh? The cusk. It's my favorite favorite fish. People ask me all the time, Bo, what's your favorite fish? And I always say cusk. Favorite. Best. Second best, safe. You know the best thing in the world? Catching a cusk and a safe at the same time. That would be the best ever. Can you catch something else? I want to see you catch something cool. I, Aaron, I wish I could catch something cool. I have no control. These are the lures I have. And if there's no cool fish down there, then I'm just not going to catch them, you know? We're at 110 feet right now. Should we try... Should we try throwing it down that deep and seeing if there's anything way down there? Of course, now that we slowed down, there's nothing on the bottom. There might be something up here as we get closer to where the uh, land goes up. The curse strengthens. <laughs> You'll like this too, it's fun.
Got one big fish at 108. Do you stream on Twitch? Not really, no. There's one little fish down there. How's Wisconsin? Oh, Wisconsin's pretty good. It's been treating us well anyway. Been eating a lot of cheese curds, drinking a lot of brewskis. Can't complain. I watched your beginner series for Fishing Planet. It really got me back into the game and helped a lot along the way. Keaton Smith, hey, right on, man. Glad to hear it. We're now going into 120 meter deep waters. And wondered. Yeah, we have an account on Twitch, but I I don't even remember the last time we used it, to be quite honest. Well, we can certainly try to catch one of these fish these fish way down here. Now I just gotta wait for it to go down 118 meters. You guys are all gonna regret us fishing super deep. Now it, it's gonna take what we were fishing at 40, so it's gonna take three times as long to hit the bottom, and it's gonna take us three times as long to reel them up. And that's if we even catch anything. At least uh, uh, we got sent that bait so that we can actually have some scent down there to bring in some fish. 95 meters. 100 meters. Supposed to go to Canada's Wonderland on Friday, but with all the fires, I don't know if you're going. Oh no, Keegan. Alright, here we go. We're finally here. Is this an online? It is an online game, yeah. We're getting some of the smoke from those fires way down in North Carolina. Wow, he's out, man. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I was just telling people uh, oh, earlier in the stream that uh, it reminded me of the wildfires back when my wife was in California and we, we were living in California for a month. The, the wildfires were so bad that she was having to wear like a mask when she went to work because of the smoke down in California. It was wild. So just getting to, ex getting to uh, experience all of that fun. <laughs> hope you don't catch any more cuts. I hope so too, Keegan. Finally got a fish. Oh, it's got some, it's got some weight. It's not super huge though. I missed what the subscriber was. Bra Braider or something like that. Your thing in North Canada? That's David Probus, our North Canadian. He, uh... He has a bunch of sled dogs that get him around everywhere he goes. Brayden VR. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Code red air quality. We are code orange. Wowie zowie, man. That's wild. What was down 120 meters deep? A freaking safe. Are you jo- I hope you're all happy. I hope you're all happy for this little experiment we did. A freaking safe way down there at 120 meters. What a waste of time. 
<laughs> Gross. Sick. Good bait for Cusk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if I could make it. If I could make it in the bait. Golly. Uh, let's see. Harvesting baits. Yeah. I wonder how far down I need to be for uh, cutting up. Cutting up fish. Harvesting fish meat way down here. Of course, I can't even spend skill points on this. You're in Ontario and you stayed home from school because of all the smoke? Oh, man. That's rough. Golly. Boy, if I was back in school and I couldn't go to school because, uh... Because the smoke was so bad. Oh, man. Hey, Ma! I can't go to school because the smoke's so bad. You know, back in my day, we couldn't even see because the smoke was so bad. And then we had to walk seven miles to school in the snow. So, you kids have it easy. You know. God. We didn't have any... Any, any, uh, freaking excuses. Then put on a mask. Exactly right, Sadie. Sadie gets it. Uphill, both ways. That's right, Jim. Gah. Bo both ways. Yeah. And then, and that was just, that was, that was, that was part two. Because we had to wake up early to do our paper route. And then we went to school through all the snow and the smoke. God, uh, golly, it was the difficult times. Difficult times. Don't even get me started on the coal mine after school. Finally got done with the, finally got done with school and then it, instead of and then instead of walking home all the way back we had to go work at the coal mine for a few hours. Child labor was legal back then. And then we had to walk home from there. The coal mine was the worst, exactly. Sadie knows. Sadie remembers. Kids have it easy these days. He'll be tuning in on Monday, hopefully. Can't wait, a little haddock. Little haddock. He'll be tuning in on Monday. Hopefully, can't wait. Oh, congrats on 50k subs as well. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. That was a fun one. Get your clothes all dirty, and the and the black residue would be in your nose for a week exactly. Yeah, and everyone's worried about the smoke. You know, oh, you get the ashes from the smoke in your nose. Well, we didn't have a choice back then. It was either the smoke in the air or it was the coal. You know? Gah. Golly. Yeah, we all had lung transplants because of all the black lung going around, but you know, that's just how it was back then. That's just how it was. I'm still operating on just one lung. The other one's just completely black. It's like a yin and yang down there in my chest. We, we caught a fish just as it was going down. We didn't even get a chance to jig it. There was a surplus of lungs. Well, like I said, Dad, I've still just got the one operating. I do, the other one's just completely black. What are you? A shark! Spiny dogfish. You know, we actually had someone post a picture of one of these on the Discord. In the BZ Hub Discord. Someone actually posted a picture of, uh, of one of these that he caught. How cool is that? Little tiny shark guy. Dogfish. I don't know if it's technically a shark, but it looks like a shark, so I'm going to call it a shark. Looks like a shark to me. You dissected a, sh a dogfish in high school? No way. 
dogfish is a shark. He's a shark. He's a shark. Right on. Well, we're keeping that mamma jamma. That's cool. Well, how was it? Did you enjoy dissecting dogfish? Was it more dog than fish or more fish than dog? Do I like this or Fishing Planet more? I don't know, it's hard to say. I like them both. It's like saying, do you like, uh, do you like ice cream or cake more? I like them both. Sometimes I'll eat a little bit of both together, you know? Play a little bit of Fishing Planet, say, okay, that was enough. Switch over to Rushing Fishing, play that a little bit. You cut the finger on the tooth? Oh my goodness. Good memory. Do you still look down at the scar on your finger and go, yeah, that was from a dogfish? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. I was saving a baby and a uh, dogfish came up and bit me. Definitely wasn't from dissecting one in class. <clears throat> but that's just how things were back then. That was after I worked at the coal mine. Earlier I said, next thing you know, he catches a shark. And he just caught a shark. That's right, Dirk. He's on top of it. Dirk's got it planned out. There's a fish. There's a... This has been a pretty active day. I like this day. This has been nice. We've been catching all sorts of stuff. No, it wasn't that deep. Ah, oh, shucks. I get it. Safe. I was... It was small, but I was still semi-excited that we might have caught a small pollock. Alright, let's do one more. Let's see if we can catch fish. This is uh, famous last words, then we're here for another ten minutes. Let's try to catch one more fish. We'll give it two minutes, and if we don't catch anything, we're going to go back to port. Sell all of our fish. Let's try to catch one more. One more before we go back to port. And you're still on? Awesome, heck yeah, man. Just for a little bit longer. We've got a lot of fish. Come on, Cusk. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for a Cusk. Oh! There we go. Didn't you make a vid that Fishing Planet is making an ocean map? Yes, they are making an ocean map. Um, I don't know exactly when it's coming out, but I assume in the next few months. They said that they're going to be giving us more information as time goes on, so I assume it's still a little bit ways out. And it's a filthy safe. Gross! Can't believe we're ending on a safe. Ew. Sick. All right, well, I guess we'll keep you just so that we can mince you up into some sort of fish cake. No one will know. No one will know that they're eating a filthy safe. They'll just think it's some regular fish. Now that's nice. When's the next video? Good question. I know that, uh, well, a video on Sunday. How's that? Um, I got a friend of mine made me, uh, made me. A friend of mine, uh, had me make a video for, uh, Russian Fishing 4 on, uh, that's gonna come out on Sunday. So that's fun. Um, what else? I have, what other videos do I have? I have a video, uh, comparing sturgeon to pike that I still haven't edited. I have a video carp fishing two Fridays ago that I still haven't edited. Um... The alligator gar video is technically supposed to be done edited editing next week, so that'll be fun. Uh, that'll be on the Modern Day Outdoorsman channel if you're not following that. What else do we have? I did a video over a hunting mobile game. 
So uh, if you, you can check that out whenever that comes out. I've got lots of stuff. I just haven't. I need to find another editor. I, I, I'm just way behind on videos. It's no in taste. They will know the difference. Ah. Oh. It's 4 a.m. here in Spain, and I'm falling asleep at the desk. Thanks for the stream. Picture it. Hey, right on, man. Glad you could be here. I'm sorry. You're, not, you're never going to know how much money we made from all these fish. You'll never know. Unless you watch the stream in a few hours when you wake up. You caught a 60 pound unicorn leather carb? Nice, dude. Very cool. <sighs> What's up? Snake. Snake bite. I got a snake bite in my boot. Just finishing up the stream, my man. We die like men. We die like men. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. It just is. Crazy Dave's kicking chicken LLC on farming sim yesterday. Did you? What? Uh, what did it look like? I don't. I don't even remember where we left off on that one. I remember that it was running so slow on my computer that I eventually went and remade my entire farm on a private map so that I could keep making videos about it. But the videos were performing so badly that I just stopped making videos about it. So I did all that work and then it was just a waste. Any flathead catfish, but they were over my max single fish weight limit for my keep net. It was hardcore L. No! Hardcore L! Perfect! Perfect parking job. Alright, let's go sell some fish. It's a shark species. Ooh. Jump! Fine. Freaking invisible wall rope. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Where's the cafe? Cafe, cafe, cafe. Fish market will be there soon. Workshop. ATM. Cafe! All right, we have everything. We do have one European hake, and of course, it's not big enough. We do have a few Atlantic mackerel. They're also not big enough. Um, we had one very small Atlantic uh, cod. It's not big enough. We didn't have any big enough saith. So fantastic. We have nothing that's big enough for any of these cafe orders. Nice. All right, sweet. Oh. Car beeped at me. I thought you were a freaking fish market. What the heck? There we go. Well, let's see what we can get for all the fish we caught today, huh? We can get 163 silver. All right. Top notch, everybody. Well, cool. That's a hundred thousand for boat parts. <laughs> Just Mario, how's it going? You're behind on this. You know it's fine. The eggs are still indestructible. I ran over them with your John Deere to test. They were the best eggs ever. The best eggs ever made, and that was part of our marketing effort. We were gonna make it a big part of the marketing effort. Anywho, everyone, this has been a fun one. Really appreciate it. If you haven't liked the stream yet. Consider doing so. No pressure. I, I, whatever. Anywho, this has been fun. Uh, I'm not sure we have uh, one day left on the Norwegian Sea, so 
maybe we'll play it for one day. I don't know. Next live stream we do for Russian Fishing 4. Otherwise, uh, we're going to be back to the regular fishing. Regular fishing out here in Russian Fishing 4. Maybe catching some, some trout and stuff like that. But we did get a good thousand silver from this venture. So that's kind of neat. Anywho, pleasure watching you. Hey, thanks, Iron Suits. And thanks for the uh, the lure and the bait made for some fun. Appreciate it, dude. Anywho, we'll see you all next time. Take care. We'll uh, enjoy the weekend. And, uh, and like I said last time uh, during the stream, no live streams next week. I'll be gone for a business trip. So uh, we'll see you the week afterwards. So enjoy. All right. Take care. I'll see you guys. One family. Game on. YouTube, Dave. It was good to see you.